Lebanon's capital Beirut has hit at least 10 Israeli airstrikes overnight with reports of casualties. At least 45 people killed across Lebanon in the past 24 hours, the Lebanese Health Ministry says. Meanwhile, seven people, four foreign workers and three Israelis have been killed in separate Hezbollah rocket strikes in northern Israel, the deadliest day in months for civilians in the country. On the other hand, Israeli airstrikes killed at least 95 Palestinians across Gaza on Thursday. The vast majority of victims were civilians in the besieged north of the enclave. New UN report says Israel has perpetrated a concerted policy to destroy Gaza's health care system that has included deliberate attacks on medical personnel and facilities, both of which are war crimes. Israel's genocide in Gaza has killed at least 43,259 Palestinians and wounded 1,1827 since October 7, 2023. While in Lebanon, at least 2,865 people have now been killed and 13,047 wounded in Israeli attacks since the attack on Gaza began. At least 158 people have died in Spain's worst flooding disaster in generations as rescuers battles all to find survivors. At least 155 deaths were recorded in Valencia, while another two have been recorded in Castilla La Mancha to the province's west and another a British man in Andalusia. In the town of Paiporta, Valencia, where a river burst its banks, at least 40 deaths have been recorded so far. On Thursday, more than 1,200 workers aided by drones were deployed to the rescue missions as rays continued to threaten parts of the country. Right now, the most important thing is to save as many lives as possible. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez told victims in a visit to affected communities. But in some of the town's worst hit in Tuesday night's floods, people were left to the task of recovering bodies from the mud and wreckage. U.S. presidential election is just four days to go. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are conducting electioneering in different U.S. states to drum up support. In Las Vegas, Harris ends her speech by appealing to young and first-time voters, repeating that they are rightly impatient for change. She promises to fight for working people. Singer Jennifer Lopez joined Democrat candidate Kamala Harris in the rally in Las Vegas, Nevada. Donald Trump has finished speaking in Arizona where Tucker Carlson has been interviewing him on stage for around 90 minutes. More than 65 million people have already cast early votes in the U.S. election, beating the early voter turnout record set in 2020. Now weather. Met Office in its weather forecast till 6 p.m. tomorrow said weather may remain mainly dry with temporary partly cloudy sky over the country. Night and day temperature may remain nearly unchanged over the country, said the Met Office. Now news and sports. India are trailing by 149 runs against New Zealand and stumps of the first day of the Mumbai test. At the end of the day, India scored 86 runs for four wickets. Earlier, New Zealand won the toss and elected to bat first. The Kiwis were all out on 235 runs in their first innings. Daryl Mitchell scored 82 and Will Young scored 71 runs. Ravindra Jadeja took five wickets and Washington Sundar took four wickets for India. New Zealand have already secured the three-match series winning first and second test. To end the bulletin, headlines once again. Use of polythene bags banned in kitchen markets from today. Strict monitoring to be continued to implement the decision.
government will create five lakh jobs for unemployed youths in next two years, says Youth and Sports Advisor. Information Broadcasting Advisor says youths will build the discrimination-free merit-based Golden Bangladesh. Cleaning of 64 Canal campaign begins in 64 districts across the country. Crabbers and polluters. of canals and water bodies will be resisted, says Environment and Forest Advisor. July Shohit Sriti Foundation will give financial assistance to families of martyrs. From tomorrow, 200 families will receive assistance weekly, says Sarji Salam. Increase in supply brings relief in kitchen markets, but prices of potatoes and onions are still unstable. 45 people killed in Lebanon and 95 killed in Gaza in Israeli attacks in last 24 hours. Seven people killed in Israel in Hezbollah attacks. And India trailing by 149 runs against New Zealand at stumps of day one of Mumbai Test. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us and we invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangla News.